Hi, this is Abhijit and you're watching AB Study Circle. Uh, if uh, Before going further in the video, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that you can don't miss any uh, video from us. Okay, uh, this is the first video in our Q&A section and the problem which you are seeing in front of your screen has been asked by a viewer few days ago. While solving that question for that viewer, I thought why not put this problem and its solution as a video in our Q&A section so that not only that viewer will get benefited by this uh, solution but also other viewers and subscribers who are having the same doubt or related doubts will also able to resolve their problem. Okay. And it will help those students also, not all, not only that particular viewer. Okay, so uh, the problem is like this. It's a 1 kg of air is allowed to expand reversibly in a cylinder behind a piston in such a way that the temperature remains constant at 260 degrees Celsius while the volume is doubled. That means it says that it is a piston cylinder arrangement and inside the piston cylinder arrangement, 1 kg that is the mass of the air, air is that gas, right? So, it has a, having a mass of 1 kg that is given in the question, okay? The air is expanded reversibly. When it says that air, we know that standards with air, we have your gas constant, we have your specific heat for constant volume process and constant pressure process. We know those values. Okay. And it says that during that expansion process, temperature remains constant. That means uh, it is the isothermal process and uh, it's uh, the constant temperature. The temperature is given at 260 degrees Celsius. Okay. And we have to convert it into Kelvin. It's not an issue on that part. And it is expanded till the volume inside the cylinder, piston cylinder arrangement is doubled. That means if the volume was initially its volume was V1. So after the expansion, the volume becomes 2V1. Okay. After this expansion, the piston is moved in, in. That means the piston is retracted back inside the cylinder. And during that retraction, heat is rejected by the air reversibly and how it is heat is rejecting at a constant pressure okay and at how much the piston is retracted inside the cylinder it says that the volume such that the volume becomes v1 again that is the same that initial state it reaches the initial state okay after that it says that calculate net heat flow that during these two process one expansion and then again uh, that heat rejection what is the net heat flow okay through the piston cylinder arrangement okay and also the second part of the question says that overall change of entropy and third the process in a ts diagram sketch the process on ts diagram okay before going let's start with the sketch okay so before having the ts diagram let's first prepare the pv diagram so we will plot the problem on a pv plot okay so we have this uh pv plot so this is your v and this is your p see the volume is expanding inside the cylinder right that means the pressure will decrease okay so initially it is we uh, say it's 0.1 that is the state one and then it's expanded according to isothermal process that is pv2 is equal to constant till state two where the volume gets doubled so it is v2 is nothing but 2 v1 and this at point one, the volume is V1. Okay. 
After that, the piston is moved in and heat is rejected and volume becomes V1 again. So the process will be like this. Constant pressure process P is equal to constant. Say it is 3. This point that is V1 is equal to V3. Okay. And this is nothing but V is equal to constant. Okay. We are required with this one and this one. We are not concerned about this one. Okay. Now from this PV plot, let's prepare the TS diagram. Right. Okay. So we have this TS diagram. Like this. Okay. S. We have T. See, the first one to two is an isothermal process that means we will get here as a straight line and as it is expanding say entropy will increase so this one say its entropy is s1 and its entropy is s2 at state 2 and state 1 and then 2 to 3 is a constant pressure process for in the TS diagram it will be a curve okay so say up to here then 3 to 1 is a constant volume process you can see this from the PV plot so it will be like this right at this point, we have your entropy as S3. Right. Okay. So, we got the TS diagram for this problem. This, this part of the question has been solved. Okay. Now, moving for the net heat flow. That Q net will be Q for 1, 2 plus Q for 2, 3. So let's first find out the Q 1, 2. 1, 2. It is a constant temperature process. For constant temperature process, it is nothing but W 1, 2. And it is what? M R T 1 LN P 1 by P 2. Okay, for process 1 to 2. Now, what is T1? T1 is equal to T2, that is 260 degree Celsius and by converting into Kelvin, it will be 533 Kelvin. Okay, so we have T1, R for air is known mass is given so we are all concerned about p1 and p2 so as it is a process of what for 1 to 2 p1 by p2 is equal to v2 by v1 right ideal gas equation for various processes if you want to have the all the ideal gas equation for various processes please click on the i button so that you can view the video regarding that okay so what is v2 v2 is 2v1 v1 that means it is 2 so let's put here the value of p1 by p2 as 2 okay so mass is 1 it is 0 0.287 temperature t1 is nothing but 5 33 into ln 2 when you solve it the value will be 106.03 kilojoule okay so we have got the first part of this q net this one now let's go for q23 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 is as it is a constant 
pressure process it will be dh23 it is nothing but m cp dt this is m cp t3 minus t2 right now t2 is given there is 1 to 2 1 to 2 is uh, isothermal process so temperature t1 is equal to t2 that is 533 kelvin now we are uh, concerned about t3 so again for 2 to 3 process as it is a constant pressure process it will be v3 by v2 is equal to t3 by t2 what is v3 it is nothing but v1 by 2v1 that is t3 is unknown t2 is what 533 when you solve it you will get t3 as 266.5 kelvin okay again we have m as 1 cp for air is known that is 0 0.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin and t is t3 is 266.5 minus t2 is 533 the value will be minus 267.83 kilojoule so now as we have q net is equal to this and this both the values we have just got so let's have the algebraic sum of these two so we have Q net is equal to 106.03 minus 267.83. We are having the algebraic sum and it will be as minus 161.8 kilo joule. And this is the second part of the question now we have got this values with us okay now let's uh, go further for calculating the entropy change okay okay So let's one it's three and it's v two that is two v one. Okay, we have this. Now for overall entropy change, we have discussed about entropy change for ideal gas in our previous videos. We have three equations. We have seen there. We have three equations for entropy change for ideal gas equation. If you want to view that video, please click on the I button. So that you can get the video and you will able to understand how we got the entropy change for ideal gas equation and how those three equations are being derived. Okay. So let's for process 1 to 2 again. What we will be doing is that S net, del S net is nothing but S 1 2 plus s 2 3 right okay for s 2 3 the s 1 2 is nothing but s 2 minus s 1 that is m multiplied by cp ln t 2 by t 1 minus r ln 
P2 by P1. Okay. What is mass? That is M1. Cp is 1.005. Ln T2 by T1 is 1. Minus R is 0 0.287. Ln P2 by P1 is nothing but 1 by 2. Okay. Because P1 by P2 is equal to 2. We have just got the value previous, previously in the first part of the video. Okay. This is 0. This is 0. So we will have the final value as minus uh, plus 0 0.198 kilojoule per Kelvin. This is S2 minus S1. The first part of the del S net. Right. Okay. For the second part, for 2 to 3, S3 minus S2 is equal to M CV ln T3 by T2 plus R ln V3 by V2. Okay. What is M? That is again 1 and Cp, Cv that is 0 0.718 ln T2 by T3 by T2, right? For the process, for process 2 to 3, again V3 by V2 is equal to T3 by T2. That is because constant pressure process. What is V3? That is V1 by 2V1, 1 by 2. So, it will be 1 by 2 plus R. Ln again V3 by V2 that is 1 by 2. R the value of R is what 0 0.287. So when you calculate this S2 S3 minus S2 that will come as minus 0 0.6966. Kilojoule per Kelvin. This is what? This is nothing but S12 and this is S23. So let's put the values here. S net. Right. So we have 0 0.198. That is, and second one is minus 0 0.6966. The final value you will get as minus 0 0.498 kilojoule per Kelvin. And this is your third and final part of the question. So, in this way, this question will be solved. If you find this video useful, please like this video. Share with your friends so that they also get benefited with this video. And if you have any questions related uh, to thermodynamic that you want to have solved, Please comment that in the comment section so that that can be taken in our Q&A section. For now, thank you and best of luck for your upcoming exams. All the best.